that you have the, this young fighter, Carlos Balderas. You've actually done some sparring with him. He did some sparring with you for your second fight with Frampton. Uh, what do you make of Carlos Balderas in his debut if you got a chance to see it? No, I, I think he a chance to see it, but you know, I went like the previous and everything, and he's a really good fighter. You know, I sparred with him and everything, and he's really fast, great movement, great technique, and everything. So I think he could make it pretty far and become world champion. Who, who does he remind you? Does he remind you of anyone? He sparred a lot of great fighters throughout your like time. Yeah, you know, Mascaleo was a very fast that move, had a trade and everything. So I think, you know, and like those Olympics that have Olympic style that they, don't, they go out there and just brought, they have, they move, they have big box and they will stay there and brought with you. And him being Mexican, you have the Mexican uh, fan base to support. But you've also faced fighters who have a good support, like Carl Frampton. He brought the Irish fighters over here. Uh, can, can you really say that the Mexican support is the best? And then when you compare it to the Irish fans, the UK fans, in your mind, how, how do you even that out? You know, who has and, uh, the better fan base? I think you know the Irish fans. The yeah. Mexicans are there, like really, you know, behind you, 100% everything. And but they, I think the Irish are were louder. You know, they they always scream, they sing really loud, and they get together, and they're they're almost the same as the Mexican. But is yes, that one thing is that Mexicans still probably have a song. You know? Yeah. You know, like the, they have the current the, 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 the Irish, yeah, the Irish, they got yeah, the song like, and music. It was like, yeah, I even I like the song. You know, when they were hearing it, it, it sounded like nice, and it pumps you up too. So, yeah. You know, but you know, they're more sweet fifty with You know, and the support, they're hundred percent supportive. They go wherever they have to go and everything. So. That's one of the best things. And Carl Frampton, man, obviously it looks like you guys aren't going to fight for a third time. It looks like he's going to fight at Windsor Park over there back home. Um, in your mind, who makes a good opponent for him? It, it, since it's not going to be you, who would be a good opponent for him right now? There, you know, there are a lot of great opponents for him, you know. There's, he could fight Lee Selby, you know, there's Scott Quick against the rematch against Sam. And there's uh, Amne Mares. There's but the point is that we're the same opponent that could fight too, you know, yeah. uh, here in the United States. And, but we know we're gonna we're gonna fight where we fight, and then I know later on down the line I'm gonna fight him again. I know we're gonna, we're gonna make their fight happen. How confident are you that that the trilogy will will happen eventually? I'm pretty confident. You know, he wants it, I want it. Uh, it's a matter of you know coming to an agreement and fixing my dad, you know, permit so he could go over there to Ireland or something, you know, because uh, one of the reasons that is that uh, you know. Uh, yeah. I do want to go over there, but you know, my dad, he can't get you on no print on no visa or anything, so yeah. that's one of the problems. I know, Carl Frampton, man, what surprised you the most about him mm -hmm. from the first fight to the second fight? What was it that surprised you the most? Because you've been in there with a lot of, a lot of good fighters, no, a lot of good fighters. You know, uh, he's a problem, you know, he has good footwork, you know, great movement, he's a better fighter than I thought, you know. Uh, once you see him in the videos and everything, you say, oh, hey, he looks a lot easier, you know. But yeah. I know he's not, not no easy fighter, he's really smart, great fighter and everything, and once you're up there in the ring, everything changes, you know, like, he's great skill and everything, but yes, you know, I came with a better game plan and I, I beat him that little bit. It was, you know, great fight, hard fight, but thank God we came with, with the win.